I find it ironic when guys talk about degeneracy, how we're becoming more degenerate or the society is full of degeneracy because they're right, but in the wrong direction. In the wrong direction. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is the movie Dark Knight of the Scarecrow, a movie Halloween from 1981, featuring a man who was uh, mentally handicapped, had the mind of a child, and had a wonderful friendship with the little girl. They got along great. It was completely harmless, right? And guess what? The pedo hunters came after him. Let's see if I can get them up here, get them up screen here. The pedo hunters didn't like it, even though it was harmless. They said, this guy isn't fitting his gender roles. He doesn't realize he can't be intimate with a child because he's a man. Therefore, we're going to murder him. And that's exactly what they did. And guess what? The, they, the, uh, after they murdered him, of course, being a Halloween show, he came back as a ghost and got his revenge. So in 1981, people understood that the pedo hunters were the villains. Do you see that? And the, the victims of the pedo hunters were the good guys. They understood that in 1981. Now, Chris Hansen, when did his Catch a Predator show? 2004, 20 years ago. So this pedo hunter is seen as the hero when he's actually the villain. So in just 20, 25 years, everything got reversed. That is degeneracy. As a matter of fact, here's a case where a pedophile hunter got himself shot over it, right? You see this very ugly man? You can tell he was deselected. And so what they do is instead of dealing with it, they, they go crazy and attack other men. He set up two teenagers by pretending as a 15-year-old girl, but the two young guys were themselves in their teens, 17, 18. There's absolutely nothing wrong with teenage boys wanting to date teenage girls. Do you understand that? And this fool showed up and physically assaulted one of these boys. And of course, young fellas shot him. See, it was one of the guys 17 and 18. There's only three years difference. There's absolutely nothing wrong with them trying to get together with this girl. So this guy set them up, something that's illegal, by the way, entrapment. And then he humiliated them and then assaulted them. And so one of the young guys got fed up and defended himself. Which to me, he should have, because if they're teenage boys, they were probably a lot smaller than him. And my man, Mr. Pink and Yellow, says, you know, being deselected for men is causing this degeneracy. It's a disease. They're, they mentally go, go crazy. And they become hostile to other men. That's what pedo hunters are about. Now. Let's get on to this. This is a clip from the 1980 Blue Lagoon movie, right? Starring Brooke Shields. Now, before, I better do it second. The first one, she became famous in the early 80s, right? She was only 15. Now, in 1981, she did this commercial, this Calvin Klein's Jean commercial when she was only 16, showing off her body, Selling the genes through sex appeal, right? I can't play too much of it because it's copyright, right? But she's basically saying this is a sexually charged commercial to sell genes and it worked. And you know what people called her in 1980 and 1981? They called her a sex symbol. And she was a sex symbol in her mid-teens. That's a fact. 
That's what people called her, right? So, like I said, the Blue Lagoon movie was all about the sexual awakening of two teenagers. And she was only 15. That This Blue Lagoon came out an, a, a year earlier than that Calvin Klein's ad. She was only 15. And everyone, this movie did all right. It did all right at the box office. People of both genders went to this movie to see the sexual awakening of a teenage girl featuring a teenage actress. And everyone called her a sex symbol, right? So do you see why were all the generations before this one pedophiles, everybody? Or is it just that we understood what was going on and now, and now that men can't get any, now they're becoming super hostile and they're making their fortunes off of attacking other men. Right. That's what's going on here. That's exactly what's happening here. This is a mental disease. And I, you know, something guys do need therapy, but they need therapy from honest men, not those scumbag ther therapists who want to destroy our brains. They need men who are willing to say, Yes, you're getting deselected, and now you have to deal with it. You have to find something in your life worthwhile, right? Because this is a disease of the mind, and it's a degeneracy of society. Society is becoming degenerate, right? Where, where is it here? Where is that? When the good guys become the villains and the villains become the good guys, you know that society has become degenerate and corrupt. So there you go.